So we're going to look at two different Travis picking patterns. Um, they're virtually the same. Just one of them has kind of a base variation. Um, and then also we're going to be um, talking about how to mute those bass notes to kind of maybe get a little more crisper sound um, and less ringing out of those bass notes. But first, we got to get that basic Travis picking pattern. Um, you see it a lot on guitar, um, not a ton on dobro. But the chords I'm actually playing, I'm playing an A chord at the 2nd fret, a D chord at the 7th, and an E chord at the ninth. So I'm just doing the same uh, right hand pattern for that whole progression. Um, if you'd like to see the tab, go ahead and click in the link in the video description below to go ahead and get that free tab as well, if that'll help you out. But anyway, the pattern is going to be thumb, sixth string, bar on the second fret. Then I'm going to pull my thumb to the fourth string, followed by that third string with my index. Then back to the sixth string with my thumb, second string with my middle, fourth string with my thumb third string with my index. And kind of the idea behind this style is your thumb's kind of doing the quarter note. Then all the other notes are going to be kind of the, the upbeats um, and they're acting as eighth notes opposite of your quarter note. So we got one, two, and three, and four, and... All right, so that's the very first pattern there. up the speed. All right, and then pattern number two that we're going to learn is very much like that, except we're going to replace, instead of going back to that sixth string the second time, we're going to go to the fifth string. That ends. That adds the third of the chord into the bass line. So our bass line is going to be going one, right? Instead of this, we're adding a third note into the mix. And then 
the rest of the picking is the same. quicker. Yeah, you want to spend a lot of time just kind of getting those down. Um, if it uh, doesn't click at first, just take your time and really... fingers right, try to get a nice clean sound. And really learn those nice and slow before you try to go fast. All right, and then as mentioned before, there is something you can kind of do and it's kind of really popular on the guitar is those bass notes will be slightly muted. Um, there are a couple ways to do this, I believe. So on guitar, they usually use their palm, kind of palm mute the strings. And you can kind of do that, but that brings your picking hand forward and you get um, kind of that darker, prettier sound. Right, because it moves your picking forward as opposed to this sound. kind of hear how bringing your hand forward uh, uh, changes the tone. So if you want to kind of keep that original tone and not have to move this hand forward, the way I did it was with my left hand. I'm actually using my thumb and I'm just setting it on the fifth and sixth strings. Just laying my thumb there lightly. Right? It actually sounds better as you go up the neck. And you could actually lay it across all three of them if you wanted all the bass notes to be muted. It's a little harder to pull off. Um, but yeah, here's what that sounds like with, with my thumb just kind of laying down right there in front of the bar and getting that muted sound. Um, I'll do pattern number one, if I can remember it. quicker. Um, creates uh, just kind of a nice separation, gets those bass notes not to kind of ring into each other. Um, one is not correct, you know, they're both just two different things. You know, you can utilize them however you want, depending on the situation. Um, uh, and really, I mean, this is like just, this whole uh, lesson is more of just like a, another kind of picking pattern that you can do on dobro. Probably, um, it would take, be more of like a folk song situation uh, where you would do something like this. Um, but in, in that situation, if you're ever playing a song that kind of calls for something like this, you know, you can choose if you want your bass notes to ring or if you want them to be muted, or you can choose to, you know, maybe there's this one section in the song where you want to uh, bring it down a little bit so you tone down those bass notes, create some dynamics that way. Um, but here's that muted uh, 
pattern slowly on uh, pattern two. The muted bass notes. Again, I'm just muting the fifth and sixth strings. So get those two patterns kind of learned and goof around kind of with that muting technique. You know, you might be able to, to apply that to uh, other, maybe other patterns that you already know. Or just kind of, you know, add it to a, just another way to get a different sound out of a dobro. You know, utilizing that thumb in front of the bar. 